Today is the first in a two-part series where I show you how I teach a full lesson from within Notion. Welcome to Notion for Teachers, I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week. So I've got a lesson set up on the board right behind me. I'm gonna jump straight in, I'm gonna talk you through very quickly what the lesson would look like. And then in the next video in the series, I'll show you how I put it all together using templates and columns and the various toggles and all the cool Gucci bits of Notion that helps out. So jumping straight into the lesson now, I'll show you what the lesson would look like as a teaser for the next video. Or, so at the very, very top of the board as we're looking at it right now, okay, quick note here, resources, any essential resources that I use regularly for that particular group and things that I need to remember, okay? My register's linked to right here, click on the register and then I've got this one particular resource website, Dr. Austin Maths, I'm a math teacher, Dr. Austin Maths, superb website and you could just build in all your useful resources into this tab. But obviously once we've got our lesson set up, we don't need to refer to that anymore. The register's already done, so we can move on. Students are now filling into the room. What I've got set up here is a link to Maths Whiteboard and my little retrieval table down the side here. So we're teaching fourth form today um, and I want to build in a little bit of retrieval practice. Um, I'll link to my retrieval practice video if you're interested in how I've got this set up to, ready to go. But essentially we're looking here for something that we did last lesson, last week, last topic and last term. And here we have it, okay, so last lesson was circle theorems. I'm going to quickly look up a bit of circle theorems, equation of a circle, um, parts of a circle, perfect, okay, and um, we should really know that question, right? Uh, a week ago we were on inequalities, inequalities, solve linear inequalities, perfect. In fact, we'll go graphical, and we'll give them a nice hard one there, perfect. Uh, a month ago we were on further quadratics. I don't need to stick rigidly to this, this is just to give me an idea of what we were doing a month ago. Quadratics, um, perfect, right, let's jump down. Quadratic, uh, complete square, perfect, okay, and there's a nice hard one for them. And choose something else from uh, whatever I like, maybe a bit of sequences, why not? We'll just kind of constantly revise those older topics, right? Nice hard one. Okay, so there's the four questions up. Perfect, I can lock my board, I can leave those up there. As soon as the students are, so I can leave those four questions up there. As the students are filing in there, the classroom routine is that they will get straight into those questions. Perfect, okay. The lovely thing about the uh, maths whiteboards um, app online is that obviously I can then, as the students are guessing the answers or getting the answers correct, I'm revealing those answers to the whole class. It's perfect, so that's a start of done. We're ready to start the teaching in the lesson now. I will toggle those two away, nice and tidy, and we're on to the new learning section of the lesson. And today we're continuing on our circle theorems, and today we're doing the alternate segment theorem, teaching the alternate segment theorem today. And I've got a nice little app up here from GeoGebra, really useful app for teaching maths again. So I got my GeoGebra app up here and I can be up here talking about what the alternate segment theorem is and how it helps us to work out stuff about angles and circles. I'm not gonna go into the detail of the maths right now because it's, uh, we're not all math teachers on the channel, but you can see how useful that is. So embedded in the, um, on the lesson page is this app called GeoGebra and you could embed relevant apps from uh, whatever website you maybe want to use. Uh, and then moving on down, right, we've done the teaching, we've done the teaching of the new learning for this topic. What we want to do is give them some examples to work through. So what I've got embedded here is a nice PDF from Dr. Austin Mass. Thank you, Dr. Austin. Um, PDF full of questions, questions A, B, C, D, right down to H, and we can be have that displayed on the board while the students are working through it. So I've got that embedded in here. What I've created here is a bit of white space so that if we are working through the problems and students like, sir, I'm stuck on question F, then I, on my whiteboard, I've, I've locked the screen now, it's not gonna move, and I can write through whatever the solutions are, solutions, da, 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 and I can have that displayed up there. Look, 
ideally we'd be writing in the workspace on Notion and that would be saved in there. The students could go back and refer to it. Notion does have some drawing apps uh, and drawing um, integrations, which are okay. I've worked with them, I've tried to get them to work reliably. I find them all a little bit uh-huh. clunky, so I don't go with them. I find it a bit disruptive and a bit hard to, to write properly. I go with this option at the moment. What I can then obviously do is take a picture of the board once I've finished my explanation and embed that onto this page as a PDF or an image and the students can then go and refer to that. Okay, so we've finished that. They've done all the practice. Um, I'm down, finished, brilliant. And I can then display the answers to the students. The answers again from Dr. Austin's website. Answers displayed here, another embedded PDF, which I'll go through in more detail how exactly I set all this up in my next video. But we've done that, we've checked our answers, guys, excellent. Then I'm coming across to Exam Q by Mr. Watts, another embedded website. I'm gonna come in here, select my topic. I wanna go down to Circle Theorems. That's what we've been working on today. Give a nice exam question to uh, build a confidence with the topic. These are all these circle theorem questions from past exam papers. I'm gonna go, why not go autumn 20, sir, in autumn 2017. There's the exam question, okay? And the students are gonna work through that, put their hands up as they get it right. And obviously, right at the very end of the lesson, I'm gonna say, uh, there's a mark scheme. Answer was 20, you had to prove it. Um, and perfect. Okay, and that is your lesson. Very quickly done, all in Notion, all with the embeds and absolutely sorted. Again, Notion delivering for us, just especially that ability to embed, to, for us to design exactly what we want on the screen. So we've got our retrieval practice app on here and we know there exactly which lessons or which topics we were teaching them when. And it's just a quick jog for the memory. Okay, yeah, we did struggle with that. So let's move this up too on that and spend a little bit longer on those questions. We can do that and we can design this workspace to perfectly suit our needs. So I hope you find that useful. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll not miss part two in this series or any of the other videos I'm doing every single week. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. See you next week.